a new day, a new project, and uh, you know, uh, it's not a very complicated one, but very useful. You see, I have two solar panels charging through an NPPT, a 12 volt battery. The point is that one of the panels, it's a homemade, long time ago, see the link up there. Uh, that's my one. And a factory one, solar panel, solar panel. Of course, do we have a sunshine here? Let me have a sunshine. Okay. Like I said, charging through an MPPT, a 12 volt battery. All right, so here I have the charger. And here is the 12 volt battery. Simple. Well, the point is this uh, do-it-yourself panel doesn't have a diode protection. These two guys are in uh, parallel. Some of the power from the second panel is getting into the first one. And the cells can be a kind of consumption in this case. A very simple solution is to use a Schottky diode like this. That's the symbol for the diode. And here we have plus and minus, anode, cathode. Why to use a Schottky diode? Because the internal resistance is very low. So that's why there are very low losing two. If we use a normal diode, we will have a 0 0.5 drop, voltage drop and evidently a loser power. Okay, now let's do the connection. This is plus, plus, minus, and minus. I'm not worried about the factory panel because this already have all kind of diode, bypass diode and everything there, so. Uh, okay, so let's tie the pluses together and into MPPT, and then from here to the battery minus of course and now let's have the pluses like i said these panels are in parallel okay this is plus and the output goes to the battery plus well to avoid having the current coming from this panel to the other one you know like that we simply insert a diode here and the flow, then power produced by this panel, is going through the diode and straight to the MPPT and going afterwards to the 12 volts panel. The voltages are relatively similar uh, for these panels. This one gives around 4 amps, the other one gives around 5 amps, and we have voltage like 20 volts, so there is no problem about that. They can they can work together without a problem. To be sure that I'll have the best uh, current and energy transfer, I'm using not one, but I'm using four <laughs> Schottky diodes. I don't even know the rates for these diodes. The most important thing is to put them together and uh, to have a kind of circuit. I'll try, let me see, okay. I'll try to put them on this, um, board for easier connection and uh, mechanical stabilities in the same time. Okay. Number one, it's in place. I can have the screw already. There you go. Of course, it's always nice to work with new parts, but in my case, these diodes are recovered from different other projects for better cooling, but I'm afraid it's not really necessary because it's just four amps, but we have like maybe 60 watts, 70 watts or something. It's not so much, it's just a drop. That's enough. There we go. Perfect positioning. Well, you'll say, why do we have three legs there? Why there are three legged diodes because simply we have this one, two, three. And the diodes are like this inside there. With the cathode together, this is pin two, one, and three. So I will connect these guys together and we have a plus here and the minus here. 
okay let's do the connection let's start with these guys up here i will simply have some uh, let's call it anchor there we go that's enough solder yeah that's more than enough even double to have more current this is the plus and this will be the minus going up here. all right some more wire yeah and let's do the same uh, double trick to be sure that we have enough current but let's see four amps is not a big deal perfect and super solid so we have the plus here let's write it down and this is the minus all right so this board is way too much and too big i can simply cut it like that well diode mode nothing as expected and a 0 0.097 drop voltage drop 248 and nothing i need two strong pieces of wire that's it next step of course is to have this in place and checking the currents and checking the circuit let's go on my porch so let me show you around that's the panel i was talking about that's a homemade panel still working great and here is the cable coming down here and connected with the second panel right here so this is the wire coming from uh, the panel up there let me take it out let's see about the voltage and the amps 20.25 perfect i can put this together in the same connector okay good here this should be minus let's go to the outside we should have here after the diode the same voltage let's check that out plus minus of course plus 20 volts here but first let me check the the current where is the output okay that's the output no current why this panel have a problem here or had a problem in fact uh, i think one of the bypass diodes it's gone but it's funny the panel it's still working so it's good enough for for charging my 12 volt batteries whoa what we got here that's the output the general output plus the mppt it's coming here to the minus so these are the outputs together and i can already tie these guys like this my other panel of course do we have power here what do you think of course we have voltages please 26 kind of difference there so this is the plus going with this guy and minus do we have any current let's see going from one panel to another nothing zero so the bypass it's working great all we have to do now is to have the minuses together the output going to the mppt with this guy here like that okay this is done and here we should have the pluses from the panel and from the other homemade panel very nice and let's see about this i got three amps from the old do-it-yourself panel two point okay up and down it's pretty uh you know not foggy but uh, and we have four amps from this panel 
Well, it's looking good for now. 7 amps, of course. Let me just put this guys under for now. 7 amps steady. It's working. Yeah, pretty hot outside. You see guys, that was the project about a blocking diode. This is a blocking diode. It's not a bypass diode. It's a difference that will keep the panels separate, you know, somehow. And uh, of course, if you consider subscribing, it will help my channel a lot. Don't forget to comment and like. And uh, of course, like always, be creative and have fun. Bye-bye.